Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So, into this particular video, we'll be continuing up your uh, strings topic as we did up into the last video. So, um, now if we're talking that what's the thing that we're going to discuss with so today I'll be discussing that how you can access up the characters into a Python string, right? What's the method, what's the way to access up the characters in the Python string? That will be our topic of today's discussion, right? So now if I say to you about uh, accessing up of the characters into a Python string, so it means that uh, each and every character or I'll say each and every string, anything whatsoever, each and, each and every word, character. So those have their own index, right? Now, from those indexes, what's the method to access up the strings and how do you do those all? That we'll be discussing up over here, right? So let me just get down and get in some space for me over here. Perfect. So I'll just put in the heading over here like um, accessing characters in, in Python string. That's my topic of today which I'll be discussing in with you people. Accessing the characters in Python string. Right. So um. As I was telling you that whenever you want to access up any characters in the strings and that's in the Python programming language. So there is a method that I was talking about that is your indexing, right? So in Python, we have um, two types of indexes, positive and the negative indexing, right? Okay. If I had just write in positive comma negative. These two types of indexing we are having in. Okay. So positive starts in from your zero. Okay. And negative starts in from your minus one. Okay. So I'll just put in this over here and I'll just put in this like this word. Perfect. So positive starts with zero, negative starts with minus one. Okay. Um perfect. Then next positive we have in from left towards the right. Left to right is always your positive. So left to right, right? And if you go from right to left, that's your negative. Okay. Listen to these words very carefully because strings are really very, very, very used even this indexing the slicing these things will be law like used a lot of for you okay so make sure you are listening to me very very carefully positive zero negative minus one positive left right negative right to left right that's okay now there are two types of errors which come up into your um, strings one is your index error index error okay error so when is your index error caused or how is that actually caused in so if you're talking about your index error so see whenever you are accessing um a, a particular character okay and uh, let, let's say it's in a manner that whenever you're trying to access up any index which is out of the range Let's say you are having the indexes from 1 till 5 and you want to access the index number 7. That will be out of reach because at that index, I really do not have anything. Right? That's your index error. Okay? Now, let's say as I gave the example, I am having from 0 to 5. Right? That's my index range. And if I am not trying to access the 7th index, it will give me index error because that will be out of the range. Fine. Second, type error. This type error is, um, I'll say, another type of error, right? So, into this, what happens? That uh, only the integers 
विच वी आर हैविंग इट ओनली दो इंटीजर्स दीज आर अलाउड टू बी पास एज एन इंडेक्स राइट ओनली इंटीजर्स नो फ्लोट नो कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर नथिंग ओके इफ आई राइट थ्री इट विल रिजल्ट विद आउटपुट ओके ओके वन सेकेंड आउटपुट एंड इफ आई राइट इन थ्री पॉइंट सेवन इट विल रिजल्ट मी एर ओके सो टाइप एर इज वेन यू आर राइटिंग द रॉन्ग टाइप ऑफ इंडेक्स Uh, there indexes can only be integer positive or negative any integer it could be right but except integer you can't add in floats or uh, complex number any other thing that is what you have up over here great so now let's say if i write in up uh, one of the i'll say sentence let's say if i write in up a uh, word okay subscribe if i write in okay let me do one thing let me write it like this right s u b s c r i b and then e right let's say this is the one so if i talking about the positive so s will be having index which is zero not one zero right you will be having a index of One, right? B will be having a pair index of two. S will be having a pair index of three, and so on and so on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The so last index will be your eight. Talking about negative, E will be having minus one. B will be having minus two. I will be having minus three. and so on and so on your index will go up till minus 9 4 5 6 7 8 right okay so this is how the indexes are being given in to your uh, numbers to your strings whatever you have uh, defined up over here that's the manner how do you give it right so a positive starts from you can say up to down or left to right right negative starts from down towards upwards or you can say right to left perfect so let's write a very quick program for the same um i'll take my underscore st i'll do the same example firstly okay that's my subscribe subscribe okay uh, s u b s c r i b e like this right and i'll just try to print in the index so my index which i want to print in i will be let's say you need to always write the uh, respective uh, variable name into which your string is my str bracket let's say i want to get the fourth index so check in from here what will be the fourth index 0 1 2 3 4 so at the fourth what should come c should come at the fourth right and uh, if i just run out this program over here See what I am having. I am having up here. See, that is my. Uh, I'll say the character which you wanted at the fourth index. And if I make it to now minus four, then what will come? Then here we'll be getting the R because R is having the index as minus four. Now if I just run it out very quickly over here once. See what I got. I just got over here as R. because that is having the index as minus 4 right so hopefully i am pretty much clear to you with this particular thing about uh, how your indexes work up over here what's the method and how do those indexes help you out right how you can extract up any respective character um from any respective index of yours of your choice negative or positive or what type of errors occur if you are not going to give the correct answers so this is also many a times asked in that what if i give up a index which is not in the index range what type of error will come or it is asked that what if i give up a, a sort of a, a like uh, data type which is your decimal or complex number then what type of error will occur so make sure that you have learned up this error names very clearly over here which i have told you
right so hope this is very much clear to you if you have enjoyed the video do like the video do share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe out my channel we'll see you in the next video